Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Without wasting much time, in this video, I'll be teaching you how I created this gemstone model here on normal sculpture. Firstly, we delete the default sphere, then we add a UV sphere. We click on the three dot option icon. Go down to UV sphere topology. Adjust the number of the X division to 8 and that of the Y division to 2. Then click validate. Now we click on the self max tool. Use the rectangle to select the top part. Then click on the green dot. Hit reset and use the gizmo tool to drag the top part down. Make sure it is placed accurately at the X axis. Go back to the self max tool and click clear or now your sphere should be looking like this. Turn on wireframe. Click here. Then click multi-res. Disable keep triangles. And enable linear subdivision. Click on subdivide once. Then click miss. Make sure your target triangles are 100%. Then we hit decimate. Now your gem should be looking like this. Click the symmetry option. Click the y axis of the radial box. Then change the value from 1 to 8. Click the max to select this part of the sphere. Then click invert. Now with the gizmo tool, we will be dragging the selected part upwards. Our sphere should be looking like this. Now we select this particular part of the sphere while still using the max tool. Then we click on invert and use the gizmo tool to also push it upwards. We adjust the size a little bit to make it match. Click the max tool and press clear or to remove selection. Now this is what we have here. Still on the max tool, we select this area of the sphere. Click invert, select the gizmo tool and push it upwards. Then we use the outer ring to drag it in place. Click on the max tool, then select clear all. Still on the same process, we select here with the max tool. Click invert, select gizmo and drag it upwards. Use the outer ring to drag it in place. We click max tool and select clear all. Now let's try to make the shape of the top layer fit like a diamond shape. With the max tool, we select here, click on invert, select the gizmo tool, change the camera view to top, then we use the outer rim of the gizmo tool to adjust the edges. I think this is okay. Now let's make more adjustments. Select the max tool, click on this place, hit invert, then use the gizmo tool to adjust it upwards. Click on max, then select clear all. It is looking great. I think we have created the top part of the gem. Here with the max tool, we select this area, click on invert and use the gizmo tool to push it upwards. Hit max and clear all. Now let's create the bottom part of the gem. Using the same method as the beginning of this video, we click on layers, add the UV sphere. This time we'll be changing the X division of the UV topology to 16, while that of the Y division will remain as 2. Then we click validate. Let's turn off the upper layer. Now we click on self max. Use the rectangle tool to highlight the upper part. Then we click on the green dot. Select the gizmo tool and use it to adjust the selected part downwards. Make sure it is positioned appropriately on the X axis. Now we click on self max and select clear all. Let's bring back the top part of the gem and try adjusting both sides to fit each other. We select the bottom part and use the gizmo tool to make it fit. Now the gem is looking promising. Now we select max, turn off the bottom layer so we can see. Click on the symmetry option. Change the radial Y figure to 2. Select max. Highlight these points. Click invert. Then we try to manipulate the edges so they match. Now we select the symmetry option. Click on the Y plane and turn off the X plane. We click on max and select these areas. Click on invert and use the gizmo tool to adjust it. Change the camera view to front and make sure it is aligned appropriately. Now we hit the max tool and click clear all. Then we select the two other points. Click invert. Select the gizmo tool to adjust. Drag the outer rim to make it fit. Click max and click clear all. Now the upper part of the gem is looking good. So we turn on the bottom part. And let's add both parts together. To do this, we click on layer. Select both sphere and click boolean. Now our two halves has been combined. Let's now rename this entire piece as gemstone. I don't think the shape of the gem is good enough. We click the symmetry tool, click on X plane and on select the Y plane. Then we change the letter two to eight. Now with the max tool, let's adjust this point a little bit. We select and we click invert. Then we make use of the gizmo tool to make some little adjustment, just the way we want it. Now we click max and select clear all. 
you can still use the gizmo tool to make some adjustment without using the max tool just general adjustment of the stone now we are done with the modeling so we click on the gem properties and change it from opaque to refraction here we just play with the refraction settings we also play with the environment exposure then we add a couple of lights just to make it reflect then we turn off the wireframe do some slight adjustment at the bloom setting we turn off the grid lines then we made the background color just a little bit darker all right there you have it your very own stunning gemstone i hope you enjoyed this step-by-step -step guide and learned some cool new techniques along the way if you did be sure to hit that like button and hey if you want more tutorials like this one make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell so you never miss out on future videos i've got tons of exciting content lined up just for you thank you for watching